at Kingpin Specialists, we refurbish, repair, and maintain Kingpins on commercial trailers. But before we arrive on site, some very important things happen first. So one of the things we do for our customers is a, a fleet evaluation. It's something we perform at no charge. And what that is, we come in and we're gonna measure all the trailers on the Kingpins to get a, an evaluation of the wear. We're also gonna be looking at the bolster plates and just making sure the frame is structurally sound on the equipment and getting some eyes on that just to, to let the customer know what we're seeing on the fleet. So on a typical fleet evaluation, take our guys about half an hour to 45 minutes to go through a fleet, measure up all the trailers, and this is gonna take two or three trips to capture the majority of the fleet. Once we have that data, we can then compile it and, and any trailers we missed, by using the sister trailers, we're able to get a good picture of where the fleet stands and also help predict what needs to be repaired in the future, as well as what needs to be assessed right away and repaired at the moment. Once the fleet evaluation has been performed and the fleet commits to the customized maintenance and repair schedule provided by Kingpin Specialists, our technicians go to work. Trailers are staged in an area for repair on site out of the way of daily operations, so that it does not impact the rest of the fleet. In most situations, if we're doing one trailer, we're just looking at a flat spot where we can get in there, outside in the open, we want the natural light, um, just somewhere out of the normal traffic of the site's daily business. We are self-contained, all of our power and everything is there, so we don't need anything, we just need a nice quiet corner to do our repair. When we're doing multiple trailers in, in a fleet environment, what we'll do is we'll stage them next to each other, and this way we can be super efficient. What will happen is our techs will come in, we can put multiple techs on the job, weld the first pin, move over to the second pin, and then a second tech can come through and machine right after them, getting the trailers back to the customer in the shortest amount of time and being very proficient in what we're doing. Um, as our staging is done, what we do is the trailers be lined up, we have them raised to a certain height so that way we can get our equipment under and do the work performing as we need. So before we start working on the trailers, we're gonna do an inspection process. The upper coupler grid assembly is inspected to ensure that there is no apparent damage. The pin is checked for squareness and proper height, and the bolster plate thickness is measured ultrasonically. It's very important for us to make sure that the structural integrity is intact before we perform this process, because otherwise, it's just not gonna get the results that our customers are looking for. Removing dirt and grease in preparation for the refurbishment process is an important step that ensures a quality repair is performed. After we've completed the inspection process and, and we're ready to get started on the pen to do the work, we're gonna clean that pen. We're taking a rag, we're cleaning off the grease, and then we're using heat to, to warm up that grease and then finish cleaning that. That's just important because we don't want to have the dirt and grease getting into the mixture of that metal that we're applying. It, it needs to be a nice fluid weld. It needs to not have any impurities in it. So we've cleaned the pin. We're going to apply a preheat to that pin before we start welding. What that does is tempers the pin, brings it up to temp to accept the metal. Very important. We want a, a fluid transfer from that metal we're applying to the metal we're applying it to. If you think about electrical wiring, it's, it's kind of the same sense of like solder. When you're putting a solder joint on there, you want to heat the conductive material so you're not getting a cold solder joint, but that results in the applying metal that's not fused properly with the copper. Same sort of principles. Here we're just bringing that pin up to temperature. Once it meets our standards as a temperature, then we're going to start applying that weld and keep an even weld going around that pin until it's completed with the welding process. On our welding process, what we do is we do a spiral weld wrap up. That means is we're gonna start welding and we're gonna wrap that pin completely as we fill in the wear pattern all the way. What this does is it creates a, a uniform heat transfer on the pin, applies that weld up uniformly, and gives us a good solid base metal to then machine it back down to spec. Once the pin has been done welding, we're gonna give it time to cool so that way it can reduce the heat on it, bring that all to a solid form. And we're gonna set up our portable lathe. Our portable lathe is a patented thing that we've developed. 
over the years we've made modifications to it but basically what it is is just a cutting bit that we're going to square up on that assembly and then we cut that pin back down to the manufacturer's spec so if you think of it in basic terms we are first pouring metal on to replace what's worn then we are taking a portable lathe to then cut that pin back down to spec so we overbuild it and then bring it back down to the operational standards After the pin's been machined, we're going to do an inspection to make sure that our weld was intact, our machining is up to our standards, and some other quality checks to ensure that our process meets our standards for the, the pin to be completed. We don't want to see any porosity in it, we want to see the uniform weld, and we want to see the finish and the specs meet our standards. As a final stop to that, we stamp the pin with an identification number, and what that's going to do is track the, the welder who welded it, the rod that we used on it, and every aspect of what's touched that trailer. We've never had any problems with our weld, but if there was ever a case that the weld came back and, and there was a, an issue with that, we want to know what trailers there are out there that have that material on it so we can address that in the future. Kingpin Specialist provides an engineered Kingpin repair solution performed by certified welders who have been specifically trained with Kingpin Specialist's industry-leading process. When Kingpin Specialist is done with your trailers, you will be done with excessive wear and damage to your Kingpins and fifth wheels. Visit KingpinSpecialist.com to learn more.